Hi, it's Nina. Welcome to part two in a three-part series on foreign language anxiety. In this part, I want to talk about the concern that people are going to be annoyed if you speak with a thick accent or you speak slowly or you can't quite express yourself clearly. If this is something you're worried about, consider that once you get out there and really start using the language, you'll probably find that most people are very patient and encouraging and sympathetic to the fact that this is not your first language. People, in general, really want to see you succeed. They want you to do well. It's, it's fun to see someone you know, using your language and, and getting better and better at it. So people are generally willing to help you. Now, sometimes someone may offer you another language that they think you speak better because they see you struggling. They want to offer you something that's easier for you. You know, if you're really nervous and, and trying to express yourself and you're really suffering, yeah, people are going to say, well, look, maybe we should speak something else. Maybe that's easier for you, you know. But it's not because they think you're, you're too stupid to learn our language, so let's just use something else. It's not meant to be an insult in general. Another thing to remember is that if you're working with a roommate or a friend or co-worker, boyfriend or girlfriend, and you're using this language all day, every day, keep in mind that that's a lot of work for the person who's teaching you. And it can be quite frustrating to work with someone who doesn't speak very well. You know, you have to slow down, you have to choose your words carefully. So if you're working with someone all day like that, keep in mind that they may, they may get a little tired sometimes. <laughs> so there are two things to do in this situation. First of all, again, focus on building a strong foundation. Focus on common phrases that you'll need every day. Communication in common situations. Instead of trying to learn everything all at once and trying to learn all those interesting, important words, Another thing, look for, if possible, some native speaking friends who maybe aren't going to work with you all day, but can work with you for a couple of hours or something so that you don't tire them out. So that, you know, make sure you have some native speakers who are going to be patient with you, who you can rely on to be encouraging and patient with you. And that's all for this part.